I mean, the whole idea of the of the pogo stick was to do a simplification. Obviously, it didn't look like a human. I think uh, a technical scientist could appreciate that we were capturing some of the things that are important in human locomotion without it looking uh, like it, without having a knee and ankle. I'll tell you the first sketch that Ben Brown made uh, when we were talking about building this thing was a very complicated thing with zillions of springs, lots of joints. It looked like much more like a, a, a kangaroo or a, or an ostrich or something like that, things we were paying a lot of attention to at the time. Um, you know, so my job was to uh, say, okay, well, let's do something simpler to get started, and maybe we'll get there at some point. I just love the idea that you, you, you two were studying kangaroos and ostriches. Oh yeah, we we did uh, we filmed and and digitized uh, uh, data from horses. I di I did a dissection of a uh, ostrich at one point, which has absolutely remarkable legs. Dumb question: uh, Do ostriches have like mus uh, mus a lot of musculature on the legs or no? Most of it's up in the feathers, but there's a huge amount going on in the feathers, including a knee joint. The knee joint's way up there. The thing that's halfway down the leg that looks like a backwards knee is actually the ankle. The wow. thing on the f ground, which looks like the foot, is actually the toes. It's an extended toe. Fascinating. But you know, the basic morphology is in the, is the same in in uh, all these animals.